Nearly half the counties in the state, including Richmond, have been designated as having critical community spread of COVID-19 as Governor Roy Cooper announced more strict regulations. During a press conference Tuesday, Health and Human Service Secretary Dr. Mandy Cohen said 48 counties have moved into the red on the state's county alert system established last month. Other regional counties show on the list include Union, Anson, and Scotland. Robeson and Montgomery counties were already added. In the past two weeks, the HHS records show 694 new cases in Richmond, 623 in Scotland, and 638 in Anson. Cohen suggested that North Carolinians avoid traveling and gathering in the upcoming holiday season, including Christmas. For those who do travel, Cohen urged that they get tested ahead of time, wear a mask all the time, and keep gatherings small. Cooper also announced a modified stay-at-home order, essentially setting a statewide curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. The governor said businesses will be required to close by 10 p.m. and alcohol sales for on-site consumption must end at 9 p.m. When asked about the reasoning for the times of the curfew, Cooper said that in the later hours, people tend to crowd closer together, though he didn't specifically mention bars by name. The order also applies to gatherings at homes. Worship, religious and spiritual gatherings, funeral ceremonies, wedding ceremonies, and other activities constituting the exercise of First Amendment rights are exempt from the order. Businesses that sell groceries and manufacturers with overnight shifts are also exempt. Collegiate and professional sporting events can run past the 10 p.m. curfew as well. A home burned to the ground late Tuesday night into the early morning hours of Wednesday. Crews from the East Rockingham Fire Department and Cordova Fire and Rescue responded to a structure fire on Luther Street off of Church Street sometime after 11 p.m. Booming sounds could be heard from Airport Road near the East Rockingham Fire Department. Firefighters had to rescue several dogs that were behind the home. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office was also on the scene. No other details were available at this time. The Richmond Observer will update the story as more details become available. Police are investigating several reports of unlocked vehicles broken into over the weekend in the Robertdale area. Investigators say several handguns were stolen along with currency and a cell phone. One victim whose vehicle was locked told the RO that her vehicle was keyed. Detective Lieutenant George Gillenwater said they have several good leads with the victims being very helpful. He noted this area seems to be a target every year around this season and they encourage all residents of Richmond County to check vehicle doors every night before they retire for the evening. Anytime the Richmond and Scotland volleyball teams play, fans can expect a battle to the end. Tuesday, Sandhills Athletic Conference match between the Lady Raiders and the Fighting Scots was no different as both teams fulfilled the rivalry hype. Despite a concentrated effort by Richmond, the Lady Raiders fell in straight sets. Richmond dropped by set scores of 17-25, 17-25, and 21-25. The match closed the first round of conference play with the Lady Raiders holding at a 3-4 record. Head coach Ashley Larson noted the scores weren't indicative of how well the Lady Raiders played and said she was proud of her team's fight against the second place Fighting Scots. With half of the regular season in the books, the Lady Raiders sit in fifth place in the conference standings when the second round of SAC play starts Thursday at home against Purnell Sweat. Extending its season-long win streak by four matches, the JV Lady Raiders volleyball team swept its rival off the court on Tuesday. Back in action after four days off, Richmond didn't lose a drop of its momentum as it defeated Scotland in straight sets 2-0. Set scores were 25-14 and 25-21. Head coach Melissa Dennis said that every player who was on the floor did what she needed to do to help the team win. Now 4-3 on the season, the JV Lady Rares will host Purnell Sweat on Thursday at 5 p.m. The game marks the start of the second round of SAC play. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report is coming up after the break, so stay tuned. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. 
We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Are you spending your money paying tuition and fees to a large university just to have your college student take the general education courses online? Come to Richmond Community College where your student will have local instructors, free tutoring, and access to services. Our transfer classes are acceptable at every university in North Carolina. We offer a clean, safe atmosphere specializing in individual student attention and small classes at a fraction of the cost. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush, classic Italian ice located here in downtown Rockingham. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. So far, it has been a pretty nice day. Can't complain about it too much. Hasn't been too cold, not quite as cold as we saw yesterday. Uh, nevertheless, still a little bit chilly outside, and we can expect that to continue on into tonight as we are dipping below, just a little bit below the 40s tonight as we get closer to that 32 degree freezing temperature line. Not going to make it quite there yet tonight, but still nevertheless, it's going to be cold regardless. 7 o'clock, 42 degrees. 9 o'clock, 39 degrees. Sunset already happening at 5.07 p.m. with a waning crescent moon phase out tonight as well. Looking at tomorrow, sunny skies all day long, just like we saw today. Can't complain about that at all. Temperatures are going to be roughly around the 60s for the high, and we're not going to get anything much below uh, 37 uh, depending on where you are in the county uh, even some parts 40 degrees such as Lumberton with a high of 61 a low of 40. Up in Fayette there'll be a high of 61 a low of 38 with Rayford seeing a high of 60 and a low of 37. Up in Southern Pines would be a high of 60 and a low of 36 with Lumberton seeing a high of 62 and a low of 39. Moving to the western side of Richmond County uh, excuse me at, in Richmond County it will be high of 61 a low of 36. Rockingham and Hamlet, same temperatures down in Bennettsville be a high of 61 and a low of 39, with Waysboro seeing a high of 62 and a low of 37. So again, lots of sunshine around tomorrow, just like we saw today. Temperatures getting a little bit warmer uh, as we move forward. And let's take a look at seven day forecast. You'll see temperatures continuing to climb back up a little bit. Getting back to some of that weather we saw a little bit uh, in the late November time before it really dipped off into the below freezing temperatures. Uh, we're seeing 60s coming back up again almost to the 70s in some areas uh, coming up in this four, seven day forecast. Thursday, high of 61, low of 36. Friday, high of 64, low of 43. Uh, both days, nothing but sunshine. Some clouds on Friday as well as Saturday with a high of 66 and a low of 50. And we get into Sunday where we have a 40 to 50 percent chance of showers, high of 68, low of 47. And that day is very, very close to getting back into the 70s. Uh, on Monday, high of 51, low of 32 on the cusp of freezing temperature lines there as well as some rain you know how that can be uh, that rain is expected to kind of go throughout the night and of course when you have 32 degree temperatures in the early morning you know that can potentially cause some icing on the roads so do be mindful uh, when you get up early for work on monday morning on tuesday 32 degrees as well for the low but 53 for the high part of the skies and then on wednesday part of the skies again with a high of 54 and a low of 34. And that is going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.